so hi everyone welcome back to data science in a pocket and today we are comparing head on head the two best image editing ai models that is google nano banana and quen image edit so in this particular short video i would be doing a head on head comparison between multiple examples to show you which one stand out from the other and then we will also jump on to understand some technical differences between the two models and which model should you use so let's get started so first of all i would be adding a basic image we will be not we will be trying out with some sample images only not very difficult task so this is the image i have taken here and i will be using the same image here also so let's provide the prompt to change help me add another kid beside the girl also make the background dark night now we will copy paste the same prompt here so first of all we are attempting with a very basic prompt let's hit this one also both the models have started see we will be comparing on the latency also and the quality of the output that we get so this is the image that we are feeding right now this is a girl a small kid it is a, both the models are generating the image if you don't know Quen image edit is basically an open source model while Google and Banana is not. So there only it hits up, but the image looks good from Nano Banana. As you can see, we mentioned add another kid beside the girl. The background is dark now and the kid has been added pretty good. I would say it's pretty good image. And here also, I think they, it is able to add a kid beside the girl. I think both the models are doing quite good here. So let's try out another example. Let me upload another file. Both the models are known for multiple image edits too, if you don't know. So let's attempt that too now. So now I've added the image of the girl and Batman. So it's quite different. Let's see how the model handles that. Both the models are able to handle multiple images. I think Quen has a limit of three. And for Gemini also you can uh, upload not many images, but yeah, it, it also supports multi-image editing. Now we are set. Make Batman play with the girl in a park. So this is it. We are also pasting the same prompt here and we will hit them together now. Let's see the output. I think in terms of latency also both the models produce the results almost on the same time and the first output was quite head to head. But yes, don't forget that when image edit is open source so you can run it in your local system without paying a penny while in case of google nano banana there are certain limitations on the platform itself and the model is not open sourced so there is a big limitation with google nano banana in that case next we'll be also attempting out the text writing on image task of which when image edit boasts a lot that it is one of the best for text writing on images so we'll test that out too. Also do remember that once you have a image generated from Gemini, it adds a ID also, as you can see at the below, there is a star coming out. A uh, pretty good image. I would say this is also nice. This is also nice. I think both the image edits are quite good. This is looking more realistic to be honest. Uh, Google Nano Banana. While this is looking more cartoonish, I would say, but still, I think this one, I think I would give Gemini a point. Now let's try out another thing. What shall we test out next? So we'll upload this image here also. Add a test test handsome hunk in the town now i'll copy paste the same prompt here also and let's hit enter let's see how the models are good with 
text editing now on the image so we attempted to the basic editing then image merge and now we are also heading out with text edit 2 both the models so far are looking quite decent and they have a head to head competition so far on what our samples we have tested out so it's a good time to be alive we are getting such services for free for everyone to use handsome hunk in the town i think the image consistency is there it is able to retain the identity of the person and here also hands down hunk in the town some spelling mistake has come so i think gemini is faltering a bit on this case while i think quen is able to nail this up quite clearly also it is adding an id do remember that so let's try out something else now so in this case i will be giving gemini a pointer so let's try out so this is the cover of a new book we are launching audio for beginners so do read it out it will be coming out quite soon so let me attempt something on this here change the name of the authors in the book cover to abc and xyz this is a tough one because the model needs to identify what where is the author name to in the cover So let's see what it generates. By the time I'll show you the image, this is the cover of my new book, Audio for Beginners. There is a subtitle and here at the bottom, Nitya Padipati and Mil Gupta as the authors. So I'm asking it to change that this time. And let's see which model does it better. I think in terms of text editing, what already mentioned by the Quen team, it's one of the best models so far. So I think when if you're looking for image editing quen should be your go-to model and we just saw in the example too uh it has faltered quite badly i think it is able to remove nitya padipati my my main author but not my name abc and xyz and mevil gupta let's see what gemini did i think gemini did the same thing too it's almost the same edit that we have got from both the models and it is able to see it is faltering with my name to here Guta, while it is able to retain the uh, our original image too. So I think in terms of text editing, obviously looks like Quinn is the game changer here. But yeah, I think both the models are looking quite nice. We tested out a few samples. Now let's jump on to the technical details and which model suits better for your needs. So Quinn image edit versus Google Nano Manana. What is the best AI image editor? After the recent launch of the updated version of Quen Image Edit, I think Quen Image Edit is taking a lead over Nano Banana for sure, as we saw in the examples too. So first of all, let's talk about the cost and accessibility. Quen Image Edit is open source, so you just require GPUs to run the model and the compute cost should not be more than $10 or $20 per day. Pricing is quite transparent. While in case of Google Nano Banana, you can try the model for free, but it's not unlimited. Also, hidden cost at scale. So once you lock in with Google Nano Banana, for example, you are using it for your subproduction work, eventually you might need to pay more because the model is not open source. Hence, in terms of cost and accessibility, Quinn Image Edit is your go-to model for sure. Open versus closed. Any day, hands down, Quen Image Edit is the king because Quen Image Edit is downloadable weights. It's open source. While Nano Banana is completely black box, I don't know what architecture they are following. Output quality. I think we just now saw that. Uh, Google Nano Banana, if you're not dealing with text editing, I think it's, it has an edge over Quen because it is producing realistic images, excels at photorealism. Well, Quen image is pretty good. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just lagging slightly behind Google Nano Banana in terms of output quality. If you're not handling text, yes, again, I will mention that. Public reception. Uh, do remember that I think for the first mover advantage in terms of image editing goes to Google Nano Banana. It created some great hype. Hence, everyone knows about it. So people have tested out left right and center the same is not the case with quen image edit the model is slowly growing up it is mostly uh, popular among researchers but yes in terms of public reception google nano banana has its first mover advantage for sure architecture transparency we all know this 
Quen image rate has better documentation, better weights, open source weights. So in this case also, Quen image edit takes my vote. How to access? I think this would be a little challenging because Quen image edit, the Quen chat platform people don't know, but Gemini app people know it. So it uh, Google Nano Banana is more accessible to people just because people know about Gemini, but Quen chat is not known to many. When to use what? I think when image it should be used when you want full ownership and control. Hackability, fine tuning workflows you require that and no watermarks you don't. I think that's very important. While in case of nano banana is good for regular users who don't want to have any hack of research and all. They don't want to set up local models in their local system. They want to use an app that can edit images for them. Nano banana should be a go-to solution. So Quen gives you freedom experimentation. Nano banana gives you speed and polish. So with it, it's a wrap. I hope you liked it and eventually you try out both the models. Thank you so much.